In the aftermath of the Big Bang, the universe was expanding at a rate faster than the speed of light, a concept that challenges our current understanding. Much like how Copernicus revolutionized our view of the solar system with a heliocentric model, we may be on the cusp of a new, transformative correction to our comprehension of the cosmos. This has led to a discussion in cosmology, referred to as the cosmology crisis, a term that Neil deGrasse Tyson suggests is nearing its resolution thanks to groundbreaking discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. But what exactly is this crisis? And how has the JWST contributed to this evolving conversation? While some may find the term crisis hard to accept, it's undeniable that our understanding of the universe has undergone significant upheaval. For much of history, we had little understanding of the universe's age or size, relying on only limited observational data. Over the past century, however, cosmology has made great strides, especially with the development of a standard model that outlines the universe's history and current state. This model, which incorporates Einstein's theory of general relativity, describes how gravity shapes the universe's evolution and how massive structures like galaxies and galaxy clusters form. The prevailing model, known as the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM, or Inflationary Hot Big Bang Model, has been remarkably successful in explaining various aspects of the universe. This includes phenomena like gravitational lensing, the cosmic web structure, and the internal dynamics of galaxies. The model also provides insights into the early stages of the universe, from the Big Bang to the formation of stars and galaxies. However, despite its success, this model is now facing scrutiny, especially as new data from the JWST begins to challenge established ideas. For example, the JWST is revealing previously unseen distant galaxies, offering fresh insights into the early universe. This presents a challenge to the Lambda CDM model, which predicts that the further we look back in time, the smaller, bluer, and less developed galaxies should be. According to the standard model, the dark ages of the universe, an era before the first stars formed, should be completely devoid of observable galaxies. Yet, the JWST's observations have cast doubt on this prediction, leading to a crisis in cosmology, where new discoveries are challenging old assumptions. At the heart of this crisis is the uncertainty about the age of the universe. Different measurement methods yield conflicting results, prompting cosmologists to investigate why this is the case. Let's take a closer look at some of the techniques used to estimate the universe's age. One of the primary methods involves studying the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation, which is the faint light that originated when the universe was about 380,000 years old. The CMB provides a snapshot of the early universe and allows scientists to model its expansion history using general relativity and the Friedman equations. However, measuring the universe's age through the CMB is not without complications. For one, the CMB data doesn't include information about dark energy, which plays a significant role in the current phase of the universe's expansion. To account for this, researchers must incorporate other observations, such as the distribution of galaxies and the effects of dark energy, into their models. Another method for estimating the universe's age involves observing the light from exploding stars, or supernovae. By studying the brightness of type IA supernovae, considered standard candles, due to their consistent luminosity, astronomers can estimate the expansion rate of the universe at the time of the explosion. This technique was instrumental in discovering the existence of dark energy in the late 1990s and remains a key tool for measuring the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant. The Hubble constant has been a critical factor in determining the rate at which the universe is expanding. However, different observations of this constant have produced varying results. In 2018, discrepancies were observed between measurements of the universe's expansion rate in nearby and distant galaxies. For example, the Hubble Space Telescope and Gaia Space Telescope found a faster rate of expansion, about 45.6 km per second per megaparsec while other observations such as those from the Planck satellite indicated a slower rate of 41.6 km per second per megaparsec. These discrepancies have intensified the cosmology crisis, with scientists now questioning whether they need to revise fundamental aspects of their understanding of the universe's expansion. The debate over the universe's expansion rate is not just about numbers. It has profound implications for our understanding of the forces shaping the cosmos. 
If the expansion is slowing down, it could suggest the presence of dark matter, an unknown force that is exerting a gravitational pull on the universe. On the other hand, if the expansion is accelerating, as current measurements of the Hubble constant suggest, it may be driven by dark energy, a mysterious force that is pushing the universe apart. The ongoing crisis in cosmology is ultimately about reconciling these conflicting observations and theories. As the JWST continues to provide new data, astronomers are eager to see if it will help resolve these discrepancies. But for now, the universe's age, the rate of its expansion, and the nature of dark energy remain open questions, keeping the Addressing field of cosmology these challenges in a state of exciting future uncertainty. Future research will likely focus on reconciling the discrepancies between observed galaxy sizes and the predictions of the Lambda CDM model. This could involve developing new theoretical frameworks or enhancing our understanding of large-scale anomalies that were previously poorly constrained. While the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has undoubtedly added complexity to our cosmological models, it also represents a crucial tool for advancing our knowledge of the universe. Its discoveries challenge existing theories and open new avenues for exploration. As we delve deeper into these findings, we may uncover more about the universe's earliest stages and the fundamental processes that shaped its evolution. The ongoing analysis of JWST data promises to be a vital component in our quest to understand the cosmos. The challenges posed by the telescope's discoveries mark a pivotal moment in cosmology, as our models must adapt to new evidence that could reshape our understanding of the universe. One key area of focus is the nature of early galaxy formation. Traditional models, including the Lambda CDM framework, suggest a gradual development of cosmic structures over billions of years, driven by dark matter and dark energy. However, the discovery of unusually large and evolved galaxies in the early universe suggests that galaxy formation may have occurred on a much faster timescale than previously thought. This revelation raises questions about the very processes involved in galaxy formation. One hypothesis is that the early universe may have experienced rapid star formation episodes or contained unusually high concentrations of primordial gas, facilitating faster galaxy development. Another possibility is that interactions between galaxies and their environments in the early universe were more dynamic than current models account for. Such interactions could have accelerated the formation of massive galaxies through processes like cosmic mergers or the influx of material from surrounding regions. These discoveries could also indicate that our understanding of dark matter's role requires refinement. Dark matter, which interacts primarily through gravity, has long been considered the scaffolding for galaxy formation. However, if galaxies were forming more quickly or in unexpected ways, it could suggest that dark matter's influence is more complex than we have understood. Variations in dark matter density or its interactions with other cosmic components could have played a crucial role in shaping the early universe's structure. Similarly, the role of dark energy, which affects the universe's expansion rate, is also under investigation. If early galaxies formed differently from what the Lambda CDM model predicts, it could indicate that dark energy's influence varied across cosmic timescales or interacted with dark matter in ways we have not yet fully explored. Adjusting our theoretical framework may be necessary to account for these potential variations and integrate them into a coherent model of cosmic evolution. In addition to these theoretical implications, the JWST's discoveries could have significant practical consequences for observational cosmology. For instance, the telescope's ability to detect faint and distant galaxies provides a new vantage point for studying the universe's earliest stages. Future observations may reveal even more about the formation and evolution of these primordial structures, offering deeper insights into their nature and development. The detailed data gathered by the JWST could refine our estimates of key cosmic parameters, such as galaxy masses, formation rates, and the distribution of dark matter. As astronomers and cosmologists work to incorporate these discoveries into existing models, collaboration across the scientific community will be essential. By combining JWST data with observations from other telescopes and advancements in theory, researchers can develop a more comprehensive picture of the universe's early phases. This collaborative effort will help address current discrepancies and refine our understanding of how galaxies and large-scale structures emerged. Moreover, these advancements underscore the importance of maintaining an adaptable approach in science.
theories and models are constantly tested and revised as new data emerges, reflecting the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry. The contributions of the JWST exemplify how groundbreaking discoveries can challenge established views and drive progress in our understanding of the universe. Ultimately, the journey to reconcile these new findings with our theoretical models is likely to lead to significant breakthroughs in cosmology. The insights gained from the JWST's observations are not only about refining existing theories but also about exploring new possibilities in our understanding of. The universe's expansion remains a topic of intense study. Regardless of the scale of your observation, you'd perceive the same phenomenon at the same speed. Hubble's initial calculations, based on limited data, have evolved with advancements in technology. Telescopes like Hubble and GA Galactic Astronomy have identified new variables and refined measurements, while different telescopes use cosmic microwave background, CMB readings to calculate constants. However, this method has limitations, particularly the scarcity of supernovae for distant observation, which restricts our view of the far-off universe. Despite these challenges, the discovery of dark energy has profoundly impacted research. However, there is a discrepancy between two primary measurement methods, one based on CMB data, and another based on observations of distant supernovae. These two approaches lead to conflicting results regarding the universe's age and its rate of expansion. While technological advancements have made measurements more accurate, small discrepancies have also arisen. The development of more advanced tools has been motivated by the desire to answer these questions once and for all. But ironically, these advancements have also led to more questions. The gap between the two estimates is minor, only 10 to 20 million years, when considering that the universe is 13.77 billion years old. However, this discrepancy remains worthy of investigation. One possible explanation for this difference could lie in imperfections in the CMB measurements, despite these being some of the most rigorously tested and accurate measurements in science, having undergone extensive validation since their 2013 release. Another possibility is that our understanding of dark energy is incomplete. Perhaps dark energy evolves over time, interacts with dark matter, or involves an unknown factor that hasn't yet been accounted for. This notion has sparked numerous speculative papers in the scientific community. There's also the possibility that the precision of supernova measurements, which are used to gauge the current expansion rate, could be in question. Supernovae, due to the complexity of exploding stars, may not serve as perfectly reliable cosmological tools, as we don't fully understand their intricate physics. This small degree of uncertainty in supernova measurements might explain the observed discrepancy. The advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has added to the existing confusion. There isn't just one crisis in cosmology, but several. As noted by Neil deGrasse Tyson, the JWST has uncovered findings that challenge our current understanding of the universe. These findings suggest that something in our scientific framework needs to change, but we don't yet know where to begin. Despite the challenges, the discoveries from JWST are pushing the boundaries of our astronomical knowledge. The implications of these findings could lead to significant revisions in our understanding of the early universe. One possibility is that the processes leading to the formation of large galaxies occurred in a much more efficient or different manner than our models currently predict. For example, it could be that stars and galaxies formed over a much shorter timescale than previously thought, or that the early universe had conditions more favorable to rapid cosmic development. The surprising size and development of these early galaxies could also suggest that our models of cosmic evolution need to be re-examined. This might involve rethinking the roles of dark matter and dark energy in the universe's growth, or revising our understanding of gravitational influence and structure formation in the early universe. The JWST's ability to observe distant, ancient galaxies with unprecedented clarity is crucial for testing and refining these models. As we continue to analyze the data from the JWST and other observatories, scientists will likely need to revise our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution.